All right. Good morning and welcome to uh, Master Toka Online Class. We are still on um, differentiation. We have done the definition of differentiation. We are not talking about the rules. We have done the uh, the chain rule, which is differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. We've done the product rule. We said leave the first one, differentiate the second one, plus leave the second one, differentiate the first one. So we are now in quotient rule. Quotient rule. Now for quotient rule, we are having that y is equal to u is a function of x all over v, which is a function of x. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now which can just be simply be written as u over v. Let's just write it like this, u over v. Okay, now I'm having this. Unlike um, the, okay, let me just tell you the formula. The formula said that dy dx is equal, please, in quotient rule, quotient rule said we must start from v and end in v, but in product rule, anywhere you like, start. But in quotient rule, you must start in v, the denominator. In fact, not just V, start from the denominator and end in the denominator. So if I'm starting with the denominator V, I will say V. And I thought that anytime you mention V, the next thing you're going to say is what? DU DX. Minus. This one is no longer plus, but minus. So since I've said V, the next thing I'm saying now is what? U, then DV, DX, all over V squared. You see? So it said denominator. I started from the denominator and I end in the denominator. So V, DU, DX minus u dv dx all over v squared. So this is the formula for uh, for uh, quotient rule. But the short course said, once you remember, start from the denominator and end the denominator. Uh, you will just say, uh, leave the denominator, differentiate the numerator, minus leave the numerator, differentiate the denominator, all over denominator squared. Please, let me repeat it again. Leave the denominator, differentiate numerator, Minus, leave numerator, differentiate denominator, all over denominator squared. Because I told you, you must start from denominator and end in denominator. So let me give an example to that. Uh -huh. The first question I'm going to solve said, uh, if y is equal to tan x, comma, show, show that dy dx is equal to sec squared x. Uh -huh. This thing is part of the standard derivative I told you. So let us find it. Let us prove it. Let's prove that if, if you have that y is tan x, that differentiation of tan x is x squared x. So let's go. They gave us that y is equal to tan x. And I know according to trigonometry that tan is what? Sine x over what? Cos x. So automatically I've gotten my u and v. I tell them my u is equal to sine x. Why my v is equal to what? Cos x. So, this two will give me du dx. This is u, please. Du dx, which is what? Cos x. This two will give me dv dx, which is what? Minus sine x. Okay. So, uh, let's go. I'm going to have my formula that said dy dx said start from denominator and end in denominator. So, v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So let us substitute. If I substitute, I'm having that v is what? v is cos x. Bracket. du dx. du dx is equal to cos x. Minus u is what? Sine x. dv dx is what? Minus sine x. All over what? v is what? v is cos x. All square. Okay? So let us go. We are now having that. We are now having that dy dx is equal to cos x times cos x will give you cos squared x. Minus minus will give you plus. Sine x times sine x will give you sine squared x. All over. Cos squared, cos x, all squared is same thing as cos squared x. Cos squared x. Now, according to trigonometry, but Trigonometry said that cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. That is what trigonometry told us. Okay? If you don't know it, you can go back to my trigonometry video and watch it. Okay? And that in trigonometry told us is that that 1 over cos x is certain as saying uh, 
1 over cos is sec, sec x. I thought, how do you remember it from 3? Count 3. 1, 2, 3. Sec is c. The third one is c. So it's 1 over cos. Okay. So let us apply it here. So my dy dx is equal to up is giving me 1 all over what? Cos squared x. And 1 over cos is what? Sec. Because it's half squared, it will be what? Sec squared x. So do this one for me. If y is equal to um, cot x, cot x, okay, show that, show that dy dx is equal to minus cosec squared x, okay? Just drop your own answer at the comment section, okay? Now, this is quotient rule. Number two. Number two example said, if y is equal to, um, if y is equal to 3x squared plus 5 all over e raised to power 4x, okay, then we should find dy dx. As simple as that. Oh, we didn't use the shortcut to solve it. Let's use shortcut to solve the other one. The other one said that y is equal to uh, tan x, which is what? Sine x over what? Cos x. So dy dx said, for quotient rule said, start from the denominator and end the denominator, which is leave the denominator, cos x. Differentiate the numerator. So, differentiate of sine is cos. Minus, now leave the numerator, sine x. Differentiate the denominator, minus sine x. All over what? That denominator squared. So, which will give me what? This time this. Cos squared x minus minus plus sine squared x all over what? Cos squared x. So, but cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1. So, 1 over what? Cos squared x. 1 over cos is what? Sec. So, that is that for shortcut. I told you, the shortcut is very, very simple. The shortcut is very, very simple. So, let's solve, um, I think, uh, maybe one more question. Number three. Okay, number two. Number two example said that y is equal to 3x squared plus 5 all over e raised to power 2x. Okay? So, let's go. We tell them that u is equal to what? 3x squared. We want to find dy dx plus 5. Then my v will now be what? e raised to power 2x. So let's go. These two will give me du dx, which is what? 6x. These two will give me dv dx, which is what? 2e raised to power 2x. Okay? So let's go. Hmm. Okay? So let's go. I will now have that what? That dy dx is equal to what? Start from v and end the v. v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. Okay? So I'm having v is what? e raised to power 2x bracket. du dx is 6x minus uh, u. u is what? 3x squared plus 5 dv dx is 2e raised to power 2x all over v squared, which is what? e raised to power 2x all squared. Okay, so let's get the final answer. Okay, getting the final answer, I will see that um, what is common between this and this is 2e raised to power 2x is common. When this divide by this, 2 cancel this, I'm having 3. e raised to power s, cancel e raised to power s, I'm having 3x is remaining here. Minus. Um, when 2 e raised to power s divide this, I'm having only this remaining. I'm having 3x squared plus 5 remaining. All over what? e raised to power what? 4x. Okay. So, this will cancel this. So, here will, rem here will be remaining only e raised to power 2x is remaining here. So what do I have now? I'm having um, two brackets 
3x minus 3x squared minus 5. To use minus to clear all over e raised power 2x. So that is that. If I want to clear the bracket and arrange, this time this I'm having minus 6x squared. This time this I'm having um, plus 6x minus 10 all over e raised power 2x. Okay? That is that. So you can try using the shortcuts to get the answer. Okay? Okay, now the next thing we're going to do for quotient rule, for quotient rule, okay, if, okay, now we know that if, if, you, if you are differentiating um, for quotient rule, okay, I think we have, we have tried, so let's show, okay, the next one, if y is equal to uh, sec x, sec x, find the y dx. So let's go. We we'll tell them that y is equal to sec x. And sec is then as 1, 2, 3. See, sec is the inverse of cos, which is what? 1 over what? Cos x. So we are seeing that the u is the 1 and the v is this one. So we tell them that what? u is 1 and v is what? That cos x. So the u dx, differentiation of any constant is 0. The v dx is what? Minus sine x. So with your formula, your formula says, your formula says dy dx, dy dx, is equal to start from v and end the v. v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So let us apply that. v, v is cos x, bracket du dx is 0, minus, original minus that is here, u is 1, and dv dx, dv dx is minus sine x all over v squared what is my v v is what cos x all squared okay so let's go so the answer is equal to anything times zero is zero minus minus is plus so i'm having sine x at the numerator all over what cos x cos squared x in fact let me just put cos x all squared now if you look at this properly if you look at it properly, this is what? Sine x all over cos x with another cos x. Are you getting it now? But 1 over cos, don't forget, 1 over cos is what? Uh, sorry, sine over cos is what? Tan. Then 1 over cos is what? Sec. So that's why I told you that the position of sec x is repeating that sec x, then you now put tan x. Okay. Thank you very much. For watching god bless you see you in the next video when we talk about implicit differentiation and uh, progressive differentiation god bless you